Camp from Oxnard, California. This is KLTV 7 Sports. A lot of folks cover the Cowboys training camp. This gentleman here, Steve Weiss from the NFL Network, has covered a few camps throughout the league. Uh, good to see you here. When you come and cover these camps, what angles are you looking for? Well, I mean, it, it depends on every team. I mean, yeah. what, is, what is the news for the angle, right? For the Cowboys, you have things like Zach Martin, right? Yep. The, the all-pro offensive lineman is not here. Dak Prescott, you know, he's always big news. But with the Cowboys, I mean, look, somebody could, like, drop a thimble on the ground. It's news. <laughs> so you know coming out here, everyone hangs on every word Jerry Jones says. Right. Okay, Mike McCarthy's the new play caller this year. Yeah. So there's just all this news, especially on the, on, on the early days. I mean, those are the bigger picture things people want to know. Then as the training camp goes along, you narrow the scope down. I mean, how's Micah Parsons going to fit? Maybe some defensive changes. You know, how's the rookie, Mozzie Smith, going to be there at nose tackle? He's projected to start. So little things like that, you know, it, it's over. Of course, it would appear, but like I said, with the Cowboys, somebody sneezes, it's news. You know, what I like about your network, and everyone's copying now, is you went beyond the highlights. You went behind and underneath of what makes a team or a player tick. That is news. Now, everyone's copying you guys, but I think you guys uh, are, are the golden standard. So when you go into the idea of what's our coverage today, non-highlights, what's the process of that? Well, I mean, look, you usually have highlights, you know, after a practice or mm -hmm. after a game. So let, let, let's come in pre. We, we don't want to be scratch and sniff. And too many times media in general will be like, okay, it looks like you threw a bad pass. It smells like you threw a bad pass. It's a bad pass. Well, no, we want to dig a little deeper. Maybe the receiver didn't go deep enough on the route, or maybe something happened with a miscommunication. Let's explain that. How big is the running back story? Huge. It's huge to a degree. Um, because one Zeke is not here as of now. We don't know if he's going to come back. Tony Pollard's coming off that injury, but they're putting a lot on him. They got some people to back up. But I mean, the running back has been the bread and butter for the Cowboys, yeah. you know, over the past two or three years. Are they going to be more of a pass-oriented offense, especially now that Mike McCarthy is the play caller? It's not about you as much as it was. Hey, man, thanks for your time. You got it. It was a festive day at training camp, and a birthday boy was celebrated. The story tonight at 10. I'm Michael Coleman. East Texas Sports.